James, I wanted to ask you about this whole um, incredibly uh, robust area of attribution performance around TV. Uh, it's, it seems to be growing in terms of uh, company offerings, uh, expectations from advertisers, needs from the publishers. Uh, what's going on and how are we to sort this out? Well, this is a huge new growth area in television. Uh, there's all forms of new TV exposure data that's coming into the market, and it's a little bit of a wild west right now. Uh, and actually, Sim is working to try to bring some best practices uh, into the area because, for instance, if you're uh, running uh, an attribution study now for the same campaign across four different or five different providers, you'll get wildly different results. And so what we're trying to do is unpack that. Um, we're going to do a series of tuning campaigns and examine the ad occurrence data and the TV uh, viewing data um, across almost 10 to 12 different providers and get a better understanding of how all these data sets different because they're all created differently. You know, you have set-top box data with its footprint. You have uh, ACR data from various smart TVs that sometimes is video ACR, sometimes it's audio ACR. They have their own footprint of the OEMs, you know, where, where they sell the sets in in the U.S. And so it, there's a huge variety in the kinds of data that are out there and the fact that there is no nationally representative footprint of these data yet. Um, so that's, that's where we're going. From an advertiser point of view, they need to understand the strengths and weaknesses of all the different data sets so that they can know how to use these in attribution. So Jane, I wanted to ask you this, this very exciting time around OTT and these virtual MVPs. And of course, uh, we spoke to Pluto earlier and we spoke to Zumo last week. And uh, we hear a lot about the network's uh, new offerings, a lot of money, a lot of anticipation. How is the sort of the data accompanying the sort of OTT revolution developing and what are sort of what are sort of the holes and what do you hope to accomplish through your organization? Um, well we actually just completed doing a uh, an SVOD uh, kind of content measurement comparison across all the different providers out there because the problem is that uh, you know, some of them measure on the television, some measure on mobile devices and TV and, uh, and computers, but there right now is not one provider that can measure original, sort of new content on SVOD platforms, um, library content across television, mobile, and computers. So uh, the problem for the content providers is they're putting their content out in all these places, but they really can't see. Um, a unified picture of how their content and their competitors' content is doing on all these platforms. Um, and now that AVOD's coming, you know, more online, you are getting better data, you know, in that area, but primarily on the ad side. You know, the, everyone wants to provide uh, data to show the advertisers the impact, but there's a lot of competitive uh, nuances going on over the content measurement because. Uh, not a lot of people want to share the content data as they're using it to do their negotiations for how much they're going to pay to carry that content. And if you were to uh, advise some of the big data providers, uh, Nielsen, Comscore, others, um, or other people who are in the field, what, what would your hope be? What, your, what would you like innovation to look like? Well, Sim's all about competition and innovation. Uh, we want to have um, you know new providers and have a robust competitive uh, TV measurement space. You know, not just a, a monopoly or um, you know even maybe two players. But we we want to have options in the marketplace that that haven't been there before, um, because that's the only thing that really makes companies innovate is competition. And so, what we're telling all of them we've put out actually we have a measurement manifesto on our website you know and there's a lot of advertisers right now that are putting together uh, requirements measurement requirements as well um, people are telling them that they want granular impressions data across platforms to do unduplicated reach and frequency the bottom line is panels are not going to be enough at this point because of all these diverse data sets uh, you need ways to combine the data sets, which are still being worked out, 
but you still need calibration panels to figure out co-viewing and to figure out how these all fit together because there are still viewing environments like over the air uh, which are not captured anywhere. Some of it's captured in smart TV, but only if they have broadband. So there still are non-broadband over the air homes that their data is not being captured in any of these new forms of TV data. And in some markets that can be significant. Um, it can be up to 20%, 10 to 20% in some markets, particularly in certain ethnic and income groups. So um, y you really have to understand where all these data come from, how to use them all, how to put them all together, and how to offer uh, you know, a unified solution. And, and it's all about granular data. You know, panels are good, but they're not enough.